what was it, 45 minutes. <laughs> Kinda run up and down the floor, so I know those young men have to be extremely tired. Both teams. Tony, you want to start us off? Yeah, um, maybe came out a little flat, but certainly finished with, with a lot of energy. What did you see out of the group, sort of 8 0 run late, and then setting the tone in overtime early to, to find a way? Well, I have to give credit to Ohio. I can't say that we came out flat. Ohio probably did some good things out there that you know caused uh, some of the some of uh, the missed shots and you know forget it, what seven offensive rebounds in the first half, which of course gave them seven extra possessions. Uh, they also made some shots you know, from three, uh, five. I think it was three from Jalen and two from Brown. Uh, yeah, yeah, Miles Brown. So they did some really good things in the first half. Um, first half, we missed some shots. We missed some, some good open looks. Um, I thought our defensive disposition in the beginning of the ball game wasn't as solid as it should be. But you know, when Hunt made the three, uh, then I thought you know we kind of like brought a little bit more life, a little bit more energy. Uh, we were up by two at half, and you know, going into the locker room, it was time to you know take ownership and you know be held accountable for not doing. You know things that we worked on and what we watched on film. And, um, second half, I, I thought our guys responded extremely well. I was proud, and especially proud. You know when when they went up, I forgot exactly the lead that they had, maybe like five or six or something like that. Um, we could have easily just had doubt in our eyes, but our guys found a way towards down the stretch. You know, Jet made a big shot. Hunter, uh, Kobe, you know, got some, made some good plays for us. Um, so. It's a short sign of growth, and that's that's really a positive we can get from this game. Paul, and Juwan, what was kind of what kind of went through your head when you saw that phantom play by Ohio to end the regulation? Well, as I was watching the ball sail when he took it out of bounds and he threw it to the left of the floor, and I said, "Hey, this ball actually about to go in," <laughs> and uh, I was disappointed when it didn't go in because then if it went in, it would have been a violation. So. The basketball gods, and sure enough, it's really the truth. They're basketball gods. You know, when things are going well for the game, you know, those type of plays will happen. And, you know, the offensive rebound put back, and then another one, offensive rebound put back. Uh, that's exactly what I said about earlier. As far as you know, we got to do a better job of you know finding bodies and then going pursue the basketball because they should have never had two offensive rebounds. Maybe one was kind of like iffy because how it bounced off the rim, but the second one should never happen. Andrew? Yeah. As far as some of those offensive rebounds for Ohio or some of the open threes they got, is it, uh, from your perspective, more effort from your guys or kind of just understanding? You know, yeah, I think want. part of it is like mental fatigue as well as uh, effort. You know, it's a com combination of both. But I trust that after we take a look at it and you know guys get the chance to see like film don't lie and you know you will see who was involved in it and and I'm sure you know those guys will will do better because uh, you know every guy in the locker room their heart's in the right place they're competitors um, they want to do well out there on the floor they you know, they know they had a good crowd that got into it that you know, supported them and they want to play well in front of their home fans. And you're going to get some games sometimes where it's not going to go as some people may think it should go as far as these blowout wins. But you, know, you got to give it respect to your opponent. These, you know, they're, they're like older players that have been through some um, some challenging moments, been, won games in the NCAA tournament versus you know high level Power Five teams. But you know, Ohio, give them respect. You know, they you know, they deserve to be in the, in the game today. They're well coached and they play hard. James? Hey, John. I, I guess this is the third straight game where you guys might not have gotten off to the, uh, the start. You guys want kind of a slow start. I guess you put your finger on maybe what's been happening early on in the game. Um, well, we, we missed shots. You know, we missed some open looks. Uh, but, you know, next game, I'm sure they will fall. You know, I want our guys to keep taking those open shots. Jeff? Yeah, um, what did you see from Kobe down the stretch that helped you guys get the win tonight? Toughness. You know, you know the guy, uh, he made some plays when it was time to make, and he also made some you know, really tough.
tough free throws. You know, that's a pressure moment. I don't know if you guys ever been in a situation when you have over, you know, 11 to 12,000 fans, you know, watching you. It's quiet, bright lights, and you have people lined up at the free throw line, and it's on you. And you feel like you're on an island by yourself. That's hard. It is. It's hard. And uh, I'm really you know, proud to see, like, Kobe just grew up. I'm not saying he hasn't grown, but he really grew up in a moment like that because you know, I don't think many of us can make those shots. Alejandro? Uh, Ron Hunter was just in here talking about Jalen and how difficult the process is coming into Michigan as a guard. I'm curious uh, what you've seen from him in that process and if it's any easier to make down this now a few years in a row. Well, the guard position is one of the tough positions to learn with, with no matter which program you're playing for. Um, you're the guy that has the ball in your hands. Uh, you're the guy that supposedly got to get everyone organized, make sure everyone's in their right spots. Um, you also have to read the defense when, whether you come up a ball screen or whether you run in a set to uh, make a play for yourself and others. Um, if you if were at a different program and if you were the marquee guy, but now you go to a, a program where um, you have other guys that are either just as talented as you, or, and now you have to make those guys look like stars. You know, it's not it's not easy, it, and it takes it takes time, and uh, we have patience here. <laughs> have patience, and, um, but let's let's keep in mind here too that Jalen, the first part of the second half, you know, he, he came out on fire, and that's uh, that says a lot about his. His, his level of competitiveness, as well as that you know, he, he was dialed in to you make inspiring plays for his teammates. Tony, you want to close this out? Yeah, Juwan, I'm curious. Five games in now, I don't know if you had expectations for what this might look like. How has this, what's transpired, compared to your expectations, and where do you go from here? Well, my expectation is to win every game. <laughs> Just like the fans. <laughs> we all want to win every game. But you know what? It doesn't happen like that. So uh, I, I love uh, how our team has been responding uh, through through every every game that we've played. And every game that we've played, I felt we've gotten better. And we definitely got better today because uh, we haven't been through overtime uh, game like this one before. This was our first time, and you know, like I said earlier, it, it's not easy to do. It you know, you could be watching and thinking that it is easy. But once you step foot on that floor, you can't change the channel. <laughs> you cannot change the channel because you're out there now. Because you have a lot of people that, oh man, you should have did this or you should have did that. It's easy to sit on the couch or it's easy to sit in the stands and say that. But when you're out there, it's a different ballgame. And I'm proud of our young men and how they played this evening. Thank you so much, Coach.